evening everybody the medallions out so you know what that means we're gonna talk about Lilith some more since I've gotten so much positive feedback from my latest Lilith video which always makes me happy because everybody should know the story of Lilith particularly women men should know too because if they feel it's their right to oppress women in a patriarchal system and that is God's will and there's not a powerful entity that women can turn to to seek vengeance, then they are terribly wrong. Also, you know, I've been defending Lilith on Facebook a little bit lately. And, of course, there's some hardcore Christians that are like, oh, no, 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 that, that story's a myth. It's not in the Bible. You know, the, the word Lilith isn't in the Bible. She's referred to as the screech owl in there and... They try to, you know, deny that and be like, but the name's not there. It's like, yeah, but, you know, you, you assume Satan's a dragon. Lilith is associated with dragons, snakes, and owls. But in this video, I'm going to explain how to know if the great dark mother goddess is calling to you. What are the signs that Lilith is reaching out to you and wants you to answer her call? So, there's many and this would be useful for anybody who's dabbling in the occult, seeking to get in the occult, or perhaps somebody who is on a right-hand path and is considering the left-hand path and wondering if they're being, you know, if they're on the right path now or they're being called, which I was, and I didn't answer it for a while because I knew who Lilith was and I worked with her to hex a few rapists who deserved it. But, you know, my understanding at the time was, Lilith? I'm a boy. Like, <laughs> by definition, you don't like me very much. And, you know, that's not necessarily the case. Lilith, in general, is selective, very selective, of who she works with at different levels, particularly men. You know, she's more prone to working with women than men. And there can be sort of different relationships one has with her. Obviously, like, if you're going to hex somebody who has exploited somebody, yeah. She'll help you with that. That's right up her alley. But I'm talking about making a pact with Lilith. Her being your principal deity. And it's kind of two ways that that happens too. You know, she could take you on as as like a husband or a wife type situation because she goes both ways that way. Or, you know, the rarer situation, you know, like a mother-son or mother-daughter relationship. Mother-son with Lilith being the rarest of the four, which is, you know, what I have going on. But nonetheless, let's get into the signs that Queen Lilith is calling to you. So one, chaotic dreams. Chaotic dreams that are going to be scary, like the blackness of the abyss. You see yourself falling into the abyss and you're suddenly saved by something. Common Lilith imagery in a dream where she's reaching out to you will be snakes, owls, dragons, particularly black dragons. You know, yeah, sometimes red too. Red and black are her colors. So, <laughs> alluding to a future video of when I explain how she's been represented in fiction a lot and empowers a lot of women, even if they don't know it. But that'll be my next little video. So, yeah. Suddenly in these chaotic dreams, you'll find yourself feeling safe. It's if Lilith's saying, like, you're going through some stuff and I can help you with it. I'm not what they told you I am. You know. Yeah, ravens are also a sign of Lilith in your dream. Um, when you're awake, you might hear disembodied voices or whispers. Usually it'll only be a couple words, and it'll be, you know, in a obvious feminine voice. That could very well be Lilith or one of her daughters. They usually don't do that right away, though. But it depends who you are. Yeah, they... they We'll, we'll get into the succubi in another video. So, you'll find yourself gazing at the night sky more often, because Lilith is the queen of the night, so you'll find yourself, you know, called to taking time in nature at night when she reigns. Just a call to the night sky, to the moon, to that which is mysterious, to that which is seemingly forbidden. <laughs> you will be more prone to alone time to 
being by yourself in the darkness and in deep thought, particularly if you're going through a time of turmoil, because that's when Lilith comes to you. You know, she comes to people who have, like, on their own without her influence, have had to walk her path. And the path of Lilith, to sum it up, it's um, being a victim of a double standard or, you know, bait and switch where you're in a situation that changes like that and you have no say and then of course exile and embracing that exile and walking your own path on your own and then trying to be forcibly drugged back into that state of oppression that they want you in and flat out refusing and fighting to be yourself fighting to keep your ground you know choosing you know to be alone for for someone who wants to work with Lilith who walks the path of Lilith it's better to be alone and banished than to be in paradise as a slave. Yes. So is, is you know, the Garden of Eden, you know, paradise. Is, is it worth being a resident of paradise if you're a slave to another's will and you lead a proxy life? Or to wander in the desert, in the endless desert, but going where you want to go because you want to go there knowing that somewhere out there, there must be some salvation, and coming to multiple revelations within yourself, within the challenges of that solitude. Another big thing, if Lilith is calling to you, if you had strong females in your past that have since passed away, you might be seeing them more often in, uh, in your dreams. You know, it's women that could stand up for themselves, that's Lilith basically telling you to embrace that dark feminine energy that she's the embodiment of. Dark feminine energy and free will and defiance. All that is contained within the forbidden fruit. And I'll do another video about why apples are so important to witches. It's really cool. I'll show you. But I don't have an apple right now, so I can't. By not having one, I mean like there's not one in the house. I ate the last one this morning. Yes, yeah, so it's important, you know, Lilith seeks those that want to change the world for the better. Understand with any type of demonic energy, you're not going to get something for nothing. There must be a sacrifice. No, you're not killing anything, usually. But, you know, the, we're just going to speak about Lilith. What can you give her towards her end game? Like, why should she, you know, she may want to work with you, but why should she? Why should she empower you? So, you know, if you want fame and fortune, for example, how does it benefit her? How does you having influence and money and status further her goal? And that's basically what she wonders. And, you know, if you decide to make a pact with Lilith, it, you got to uphold your end of the bargain. And usually you you need to be doing something with what she gives you that will further her goal. And, you know, crushing the old boys club, the patriarchy, fighting for the rights of others, helping those that are oppressed, helping those that free will have been stolen, helping those that have been wronged and exploited and abused, seek vengeance and justice. Because Lilith is all about vengeance. You know, she, she kind of hates the like the structure of people being born into power, people, you know, being important and powerful by virtue of their birth because she's a queen in her own right through the path she walked. She's actually, if you follow the Abrahamic myths, she's the first person to become deified because Lilith was mortal once. She was the first woman. And through her path, through her defiance, through her free will, you know, she sprouted wings and horns and a tail and became the mother of demons. She wasn't born into a position of privilege. She was born equal to Adam until Adam cried and God changed his mind and tried to give Adam his way and she wasn't having any of it. And to those of you, you know, that try to use Lilith on the internet, like, oh, typical divorce, the woman got to keep the house. No, no, she was exiled. She was given a choice. Submit to Adam or banishment. She chose banishment and then they tried to drag her back. You know, like how, how shitty is that? It's like you gave me a choice. I picked banishment and then you tried to forcefully drag me back. I think any of us would be pissed off on that. But know that when you're, 
when you're at your breaking point, when you've been fighting for so long, if you're fighting to be able to say no, to stand up for yourself, to, to be the person you want to be, if you're going, being forced down an artificial proxy existence, being somebody you don't want to be, doing a job you don't want to do, being in a relationship with somebody you don't want to be with and you feel like you can't break free, that the forces around you are forcing you to not have boundaries, to live this false life and you're seeking some sort of power to break free of that and become who you want to be, that's when she comes, you know. For Lilith, you know, it, it's like the church has taught you that being yourself has makes you a prisoner within yourself and she can help you break free of that conditioning and become you know who you were meant to be because free will is your birthright and if you're female equality to men is your birthright through her her whole struggle is simply she wants back what was taken away you know, she was created equal, and she wants that for herself again, and she wants that for all women, because that is the natural order from the moment of creation. Her and Adam, who were created from the same dust slash clay at the same time. Get it? So, that is what, you know, she'll, she'll call out to others who can help further that goal in this world and if she truly believes you'll uphold your end of the bargain then perhaps she'll give you what you want as long as you're sincere there's no fooling Lilith you can't I don't care if you're the best player in the world <laughs> there's no fooling Lilith and if you do seek her out and evoke her you'll know Lilith is many things but subtle is not one of them. Anybody who's ever worked with her can attest to that. You know, her presence is is strong. There's no... If Lilith is present, you know Lilith is present. And she usually reserves her visage appearing as an apparition for people she really, really has a deep connection with. But just feeling, you know, you'll feel... Another major feeling if she's contacting you at night, you'll feel like hot, like all over. Like I'm talking like what I've been going through the past couple nights where it could be 60 degrees in the house and you're sleeping in your underwear and all of a sudden you're sweating. You know, that's not natural. So that's another indication that, you know, she's present. She's trying to tell you something. I've tried to invoke her the past couple nights because I have some questions that need to be answered. And Well, I haven't really had much luck, which isn't like her. Hmm. It's a very personal issue that I having a question of trust and I need to consult the being that I trust the most but so yeah Lilith is also great if you are looking for you know a powerful strong protective mother figure as I was because you know if you're loyal to Lilith and the pack you made to her she'll be quite protective of you and anybody who tries to force you down an artificial path so yes those are the signs that Lilith may be calling to you. So if you are experiencing any of these signs and you're considering working with her, pay close attention to them because perhaps, perhaps you can easily get her attention because she's not the easiest being to get the attention of. But you may be one of the chosen if you're willing to walk the path of Lilith. It's a hard path, but the rewards are worth it. She will test you. She will push you to your limits, especially if you're male. It's a, little, it's a harder of a test with good reason. But if you desire free will and if you desire you know, equality and to help break a corrupt system, then in my opinion, there's no better goddess to work with. <laughs>